Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is part three of my inboard conversion. We are coming right along. So you saw in the last video, I got the linkages and everything done for motor control and pump control. And I uh, have finished the exhaust. This is the pipe I made. It uh, It's kind of funny looking, but it's going to be very functional. Uh, we've got two inch here. It brings out to five inches here and tapers to inch and a three quarter all the way out. And I've made a little, made a little exhaust tip, kind of keep the water from back flushing up in there. And that's what this section's for. Uh, kind of like a, a trap, you know, stop water from coming into the motor. Uh, got the starter mounted like i said i was going to do exhaust clamps that worked out great just a couple of pieces of angle and a strut here and uh, that sucker comes right out into the flywheel works fantastic got my solenoid mounted here wires run to the battery wires run to the starter that turned out turned out pretty good and of course, still got the pull start on there, just in case. So this was quite the project. Covered it, excuse me, covered it in a header wrap, because to be honest with you, it was ugly as balls when I got done with it, but it'll work. And what else we got going on? Installed uh, an outboard rectifier here, so wires from the stator going into this rectifier and I got a hot lead going to the battery. That way I can get DC voltage going into the battery. The way things keep up. And uh, this reservoir. So when I got this motor, it had the, it had the uh, oil pump delete already done, which is cool because I really don't mind mixing fuel. That's no big deal. Um, didn't really know what this was for. I... Uh, I was thinking it was an oil reservoir, but I didn't think that it was necessary because you are going to be pre-mixing, but after some further research, it turns out it's very necessary. There's this port here and a port below there um, that lubricates this rotary valve. It's a piece of sheet metal that, with a port in it that opens in front of the carburetors. Um, that has to be independently lubricated with mix oil. So that's what that's for. You top that thing off and, and you don't touch it. It doesn't necessarily go down. You have to actually change the oil. So that's really good to know. If I wasn't running that, I would have smoked that rotary valve. So I learned that. And uh, midweek, I should be getting my radiator in the mail and uh, and then we'll be all set for a test run, I think. As far as wiring goes, um, I still have a little bit left to do. I welded up this little panel up here. So I got a panel going on here. I stole this out of my uh, outboard control and it's a toggle switch up under there. I had to cut the end of the toggle switch off, but when you uh, get kicked out of the boat, which uh, is always bad uh, if you're wearing this, which you should be, but who actually does that? Uh, this will shut the motor off instead of shooting the boat up the bank. You should always wear your safety lanyard. Uh, I do wear the safety lanyard, which I've got a piece of paracord with a carabiner on the end. Because um, that coily freaking plastic thing, that's a joke. The sun eats them and they're not reliable. Uh, I put mine on, my belt loop whenever I'm about to do something suspicious. Other than that, I don't, I don't wear it, to be honest. If I like, for example, here in my area, if I even point the nose of the boat towards the Sandy Ann River, I, I put that on because it gets shallow. And, you, and of course I've got this thing that'll uh, keep me inside the boat and probably make a mess out of me if I do hit something, but anyway. This is just a uh, 
kill switch. I'm going to wire these together. That way, down is off, down is off, up is on, up is on. So, I'm going to wire those together. And here, I'm going to do a uh, please steal me uh, push button start. So, and I have a way to uh, make the boat unstealable, but I'm probably not going to show you that. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Fuel tanks mounted, bungee cord. And batteries mounted bungee cord and uh, yeah radiator wire those switches wire up a button radiator fan and then we're gonna go hit the pond and see uh, see what happens so part number four oh and I still have to do the diamond plate I might do that next weekend so part number four should be a test run Possibly just tuning here at the shop or possibly uh, going out on the pond. So I'm not going to take it out on the river, uh, not the first go around, but just because there's some testing that needs to be done without current to fight. So uh, that's where we're at. And yeah, stay tuned for the, for the next episode and it should be a little bit more exciting. Thanks for watching, guys.